What is going on, guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and our King Hakon Magnuson, 45 year old King of England, Norway, and through his wife, also the King of Sweden. But ever since we put our wife on the throne, we've had some issues with, with succession. Um, and uh, I've mostly fixed it, at least for two of our kingdom titles, it's fixed because I simply switched the uh, succession laws. But uh, unfortunately, that doesn't really work for England because I believe I have already changed succession laws once. So yeah, we can't do it anymore uh, with this character. And this obviously puts us in a, a big problem. Um, well, because yeah, we, we won't be able to inherit England. Now, I'm pretty certain that uh, this is like this has to be a bug. I really don't, do not understand at all why we cannot vote for our children or, well, yeah, basically just not for our children. We can vote for one of our sisters, but, or for a wife even, even though she's like outside, but we can't vote for our own son, which is just, it's just stupid. And I'm like 99.9% .9 sure this is a bug. And so the solution I have uh, to this is somewhat gamey, but I feel like I feel like it's warranted, at, you know, in, in this particular case because, you know, we're just kind of dealing with a, with a bug here. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I will be destroying the title of Kingdom of England. Now, this has been suggested to me several times and uh, people have even suggested that I should just destroy the title and then rename our primary kingdom title, title of Norway to like Norway, Denmark, uh, not Norway, Denmark, that was just the example given in history, but like to like Norway, England sort of thing. Uh, that's not what I'm going to do. In, in fact, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button, destroy the title. We're going to lose prestige. People will be really upset. And now immediately after this, I'm going to create the kingdom of England again, uh, which means we're going to get our prestige back. We're going to spend some gold and we'll lose some piety. But basically what that did was it fix our succession because now um since we destroyed the title and then recreated it uh england has taken over the succession law of our primary title norway so we now have ignatic cognatic primogenita in england as well but we still have like all these different kingdom titles basically the price we're paying is relations with our english vassals uh so even like this guy he even though he's content he's like super upset with us he desires the king of england uh, apparently he has a claim to it as well interestingly um he is not on the council we destroyed the title minus 40 and he's outraged by succession law change so the way i see this is that uh the english nobility for some reason uh, just decided that our son is not eligible to inherit. Like, they just said that. I don't know. They don't really have a reason. They just they just didn't accept him as candidate. And we, as king, decided, well, fuck that. We're just going to make him our heir anyways. And so now they're, they're upset. That's how I see this. So this gives the AI a chance to, you know, rebel, declare war, and we can fight it. But it's at least the bug basically has been dealt with. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually much happier with this right now. So we'll see what happens. I imagine a huge faction is going to form. Um, and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to deal with it. But I guess we'll find out, right? Um, also, let me check out what my marshals are. My marshal is training troops at the moment. Good. I think, um, yeah, maybe we should just be saving up a little bit of cash for the inevitable uh, rebellion that's going to uh, that's going to be declared. I mean, it's it's got to happen, right? I'm actually actually maybe not. We'll have to see. But um, the Duke of Mercia, our nephew, who's also very upset, by the way, um, has usurped the county of Alaster from some dude uh so he's actually grown in power actually no that's just his vassal okay he's just taken it from his vassal that's fine um and wait do we have oh we have the knights templar landed in england interestingly a polish man i don't i don't suppose they would want to be vassalized no unfortunately not but that's kind of interesting to see they actually have been given lands in england hmm all right well, that's that's cool, I guess. We'll just be moving on. And, um, yeah, what are we doing right now? We are actually waiting, well, for our son to come of age. So that just happened. There is a young Ranvald. He finished his education in the ways of war. And we notice with pride that he has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. That's truly amazing. Look at Ranvald here. 
16 years old, 38 combat skill, 21 martial. Actually, his stats are not that amazing, but, you know, he's an organizer, brilliant strategist. He's strong. He's been baptized. Uh, ambitious young man, patient, however, diligent, kind, and chast. Very cool. Now, and since we are a charitable guy, we should make Ranvald charitable as well. He became trusting, interestingly. He does like us quite a bit, despite... You know, us being rivals, actually. Um, he does like the succession law change that's going to stay for a couple of years as well. Um, so, yeah. Even though we're rivals, we are still actually doing quite well. I like that. We have to find him a good wife. And honestly, I gotta be, I gotta be honest. Honestly, I gotta be honest. Um, there doesn't really seem to be anyone great. Um, actually, never mind. That's not true. I did check someone. I, I already checked and I found someone. Um, I found Princess Alice of Scotland. She's 12 years old, very young, uh, but our son is 16, so I think this is fine, especially like at this like time period. Um, so we're going to arrange a betrothal here, and they would not accept. Holy shit. Political concerns, base reluctance. Hmm. Okay. That. Uh, yeah. Now, I could buy a favor here, but... I'm pretty certain that this won't, like, I can't use that favor to force him to marry, to marry off his daughter. That's really unfortunate, because Alice would have been perfect, because we have, like, our son will have a claim on Sweden through his mother, um, right? Because, yeah, she's the mother, right. Uh, we have basically married into any, like, every important person in Denmark, so that's kind of that. We have our tributary here in, you know, northern Germany. Uh, we obviously hold England ourselves, And uh, so, yeah, basically it's just Scotland that would that would be important here. And um, that's kind of sad that this doesn't work out. That's That was the only real, yeah, real good option we've had. So let me check this again. I mean, we have the Duchess of Verona. She would accept. That's so interesting. The Duchess of Verona. Wait, um, Duchess of of that's you okay so she is 21 years old italian she has verona and the county of verona as well uh she's quite good in managing her realm patient just temperate she seems like an awesome person to be honest um attacking I don't know what she's doing. This is just Italy fighting. She's not actually fighting herself in any of this. Um, The house name is so, like, bizarre. It seems Chinese. Uh, I think she's a good match. I think she's a really good match. Probably the best that we have. Let me see if there's, if there's anything else. Uh, she's 21, so that's still young enough. There's a princess of the HRE. Um, but not of the current emperor. So that's really not all that useful. And her sibling Helga. She's actually even older. So, no. Although, Duke of Brandenburg. Hmm. I mean, it would be alright. There's several courtiers. A princess of Hungary. Now that could be interesting. But it's not the, she's not daughter of the current king. She is Sunni. Um, she does have some interesting bloodlines. Hmm. I think this... Could we get the bloodline into our family this way? Maybe. Um, you know what? I think she might be the one. Princess Arpad Angielka. She's an attractive woman. She does have a claim to Hungary. I think that's... I think she's the one. But let's, uh, let's do... Let's do keep looking for a while. Um, Antonella. Oh, she she has no bloodlines, no. She's, uh... Oh, yeah, she's, like, just a patrician girl. It's not too important. Edna, the Prince of Scotland, she's way too old. Um... Okay, there's obviously our friend, Madga, of Volgast. Who definitely needs to marry as well. But I don't know if we want to marry her to our son. Then there's obviously several Estrids, but I think we've married into that family enough with our daughters. So that's not really necessary. 
Um, yeah. So, it's basically the decision between this one. But what what I'm like what are we going to do with lands down here? I mean also there's no kingdom of Hungary. So I don't know if that but it's the bloodline. The bloodline is is really prestigious. I kind of want the bloodline. So let's go with that. Let's go with the princess here. Um invited to court, arrange a marriage between her and Ranwald. There we go. I think that's fine. I think that's probably the best. There we freaking go. Hello. So she's a bit wroth. She's chast, just like our son, so I'm not sure how many children we'll have, but I hope I hope that they are fertile enough. Um, yeah. Anyway, moving on for now. That took a while. Mm, I wish to forsake my old religion. Ah, you see, I'm gonna actually refuse this one because uh, we kind of want to... Like, we want to switch religions, so I, I don't think we're the right person for this. Um, no assistance. No, no, no. We're gonna refuse. We're gonna refuse that. She's actually upset about that. Hmm. My food has tasted strange lately, and I've begun to eat less and less for fear of being poisoned. I don't trust the spy master to find the poisoner. The only one I can rely on is my friend Madga. Well, there we go. I'll find the poisoner. Put an end to this. Sure. And I do wonder if I can find you a good husband. Actually, matrilinear marriage. Rolf, my second son. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't need to be matrilinear. To be really honest. Like, as long as you... Like, if it's a count... Uh, like, courtier? Um... Maybe she can marry our court physician. Actually, that might be a thing. Let me see. You... Can you marry... Uh, Madga? No, he's lowborn, I see. Oh, I, I I see, okay. Well, in that case, you marry Match Linear, you marry a uh, court physician. There you go. You will lose a little bit of prestige, but that's fine. You want to marry a ruler, right, I get that. Um, but we'll ask him about his faith. Actually, he was pretty upset about this last time. Write a personal letter. Let's do that. Uh, let's... Uh, Let's let's stop doing that. Okay. Now what are we talking about? Poison. You must be joking. This dude, he's fine. Maybe it needs a bit more salt, but there's nothing wrong with it. Madga dismissed our concerns. Oh, that's not good. Now we are growing more paranoid. Uh, that's really not cool. Anyway, at least Rikulfa. This is such a weird name for me to pronounce anyway. But yeah, he seems much happier if we don't speak about religion all the time, so uh, that's nice. We will go with the religious option next again, but I think the switch up was pretty good. Anyway, uh, let's see. We can forge. Oh, look at this. Focus your efforts to immortalize your name and ensure that all your descendants will share your fame. This ambition cannot be cancelled. In order to complete this ambition, you need to perform one of the following tasks of founder bloodline through other means murder or execute 30 people. Win 15 foreign wars, rule a peace for 30 years, build 10 cities, 10 castles, 10 temples. Okay. Note that pursuing multiple tasks at the same time might result in the creation of a hybridized bloodline. Oh, that's so cool. I think we will. I think we will do that. We already have one, but might as well go for another one. That's actually, I like that. I like that. Okay. Now, I hope it's not September yet. Damn. Ah, oh, frick, it's, it's, it's actually December. Okay, cool. Um, we could compose a book. Are we that kind of man? We are diligent. You know what, let's, um, let's compose a book. And let's see what we want to write about. Uh, I will be tackling complexity of war. Uh, managing a realm. Because of stewardship. I think that might be the best. We have Midas touched. Let's do that. Um, chronicle the family's history. No, I think this stewardship would be the best right now. Okay, our daughter's in hiding, unfortunately. She's pregnant. Or maybe that's it. You, Benedict, Benedicta, she is a granddaughter. She's quick, very cool. Very cool, actually. And heir to the Duchy of Gilland. Awesome. Okay, what does the factions say? Um, actually, it's not too bad. I would have 
thought there was a lot more uproar from the English nobility, but they seem fine overall. Uh, Marshall is hard working. Mm, I want more levy size. Let's recruit our troops. Uh, let's recruit more troops. 5,000. Be nice. Our incompetent steward is doing a bad job. Um, then he should be fired. Oh, he is actually really bad. All right, let's fire him. Let's see who is better. Our son is actually a much better. Uh, well, not much better, but he is better. So let's let's do that. Let's have him, I think, collect taxes, maybe. Actually, no. Let's have him just administer the realm. That's fine. There we go. And move on forward. Now, loyal servants, you want lands. County of Romsdal. Wait, you are... The chief of Lapland. Oh wait, and he's married to the woman that wanted to convert. And you are heir to Olu and Lapland. Your heir is imprisoned. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, she looks so messed up. Holy fuck. But yeah, um, I'm not going to give him that title. We'll diplomatically decline. There you go. All right, well, well, we've got our succession uh, on the wraps. I'm happy that that worked out. So no more fear of of losing that. And we are at almost 6,000 prestige. Um, okay, Duchy of Orkney has been usurped. Interesting. Um, we're almost, yeah, we need only 8,000 prestige to... Um... To uh, fulfill, wait, to to create a empire. That's what I want. Yeah. And we need a thousand gold as well. Okay, I should keep that in mind. Because otherwise I might be spending it uh, beforehand. You're in a, such a caring daughter, always ready to lighten up the mood during a somber family dinner. Even though we may disagree from time to time, I cannot deny her accomplishments as a daughter. Very nice. Um. Okay, I'm not sure if that is... I don't know why that is, but, yeah. Because usually I think this is just because of, like, the diplomacy focus, but anyway. Uh, the family focus. Um, the world's a dangerous place. People are trying to kill my wife. Uh, I'm not really sure if I can do anything about that. She has a very high intrigue skill. I think she'll be able to deal with this on her own. She does fight several people. High Chief of Coronia, for example... And defending against someone else as well. Namadal is prospering as is Nidoros. Very cool. Very cool deal, uh, indeed. Um, and, I mean, if she was to call us into war... Oh, she can't. We don't even have an alliance with her. That's so weird. But alright. I need a new designated regent. And for that, I will pick... Now, don't tell me I can't pick my son. Okay, I can. Very good. Very good. Um... And let me check. Wow, she's still Muslim. I could convert her to Catholicism. I probably should. You know what? Let's demand religious conversion. I mean, we're not zealous then. Yeah, you know what? No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. But we have Rolf, who has come of age as well. He also became a brilliant strategist. Damn. That's amazing. Now you, however, you as a second son, you could marry Anastasia, Duchess of Verona. Yes, that seems like a really good idea. Because that will just be like a cadet branch of our family, like way in the south. I think that's a really good idea. Um, okay, so she's accepted. That means our son is not at our court. But, uh, yeah, our family is going to take over these lands. That's I like that. That's actually much much better. All right, on that note, I think we can end it here. Um, the English have not risen up. I'm actually surprised by that. So for now, succession is safe and we can, yeah, we can just work on our next goals. Currently forging a bloodline. And if it works the way I think it does, um, our grandchildren should have four bloodlines. One that we already have, two from their mother, and then, you know, uh, a fourth one if we do create 
our own. Anyway, that was it for this episode. I'll see you next time. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.